Kasafa Castle, a couple of Sutu up against the Namibia. Both sides losing, although narrowly yesterday in their semi final encounters. Lesotho beaten by Angola and Namibia by Botswana. Now, chance to have a look at the line side that uh, lost uh, against the Angolans. Bushi Modlitsane and the defender Mochele have both been dropped. It means Ghetla comes in at fullback. And up front, Selo Musso, who came on early in the second half of yesterday's game, starts from the beginning of uh, today's game. So it's a side with plenty of confidence, a young team, four 21-year-olds, one 19-year-old and an 18-year-old goalkeeper, and certainly building for the future with a 2010 vision, this Basutu national side, and another step on that road here today in Khabarone. Now let's uh, turn our attention to Namibia and the Brave Warriors who uh, also make changes. Four, in fact, from the team that uh, was beaten by Botswana. Oliver Rissa, Shatumenye, Robert Noseb and Marai Swartboy are all out of the team. The four foreign base players are being rested, save for Swartboy who's injured. He picked up a knock yesterday and is not on the bench, but you'll see Rissa, Noseb and Shatumwenye there. That means a chance for Brian Brendel from the Champions Civics. He comes into the side, as uh, does Ngachi Zeko, who came on as a substitute, and Basaiko, who also had a couple of minutes yesterday, and uh, Fernandinho Jager who uh, played in the latter half of yesterday's defeat. So the three substitutes who came on yesterday get starting berths in today's lineup, and Coach Rani Canalello giving a run out to all of his locally based players in the Brave Warriors lineup today. Let's get comment on those two lineups from William Shongwe. In the days proceedings here at the National in 1999, Brave Warriors stored after defeat in yesterday's games. Header at the back from uh, the new Namibian captain, Gajiremo. Defensively for Lesotho was uh, the defender, Masuale. Whatever tactics that you might want to apply as a coach, it de always depends on the physical conditioning. And with that game that they played, it must have taken quite a bit out of them. Will they still be able to give that much today? Well, good application there from uh, Ngari Zemo, the captain. Leading by example, and he uh, saved the corner. Or did he? I think it uh, has been awarded as a corner by the Botswana official, but... decides to go with, like uh, going with the crossball, that can easily be intercepted. And then from there, his team will be under pressure. More composed now, I think, uh, the Namibian team. What you got to understand as well is uh, this is another factor in today's game is uh, there's not li really a lot of pressure. Hands on the ball. We've passed the quarter hour mark, William. Uh, on points, pretty even, you reckon? Very much even. If anything, I think Namibia is heading a bit of the position uh, between the two teams. In fact, the more even Leopards in South Africa didn't make it back and, to the team. And there's a player, Joma Cosmos, too, goalkeeper. So he's actually number three in the in the pecking order. Exactly. Masule now forward. Gets caught by Besta. That'll be a free kick, and Besta might be in a bit of trouble. Referee's just had a little bit of a talk there with Besta. No yellow card. He's perhaps... A so Namibia will have to play down to 10 men. Given the physical exertion of yesterday, given the fact their league is not on at the moment, the players will obviously not be matched, even though they're a goal down. Need some defensive discipline, led by that man. Across the face of goal, and Mpongwe is denied by the skipper, Ngari Zemo. That's a brilliant attack by Ngari Zemo. With Mpongwe steaming into the box, he just needed a touch to that, but uh, Garizebo very timeless and uh, led to the danger. Got possession, we can maybe do something. Mpongwe now, good challenge. Leading from the front, Garizemo, the skipper.